everyone and welcome to our touch base thursday for september 28th um hello to everyone as we get started with our presentation tonight all right so just going to give it a minute for those of you who are able to join me live to get logged in here and find me and we will get started here in just a couple of minutes um make sure i'm also in the right spot here here we go all right so, I think I'm going. If you're joining me, please comment and tell me hello. And comments are, there they come. Hello, Shireen. Yeah. Oh, whew. I was like, am I in the right place? I couldn't see comments. But that's because I was being silly and swiping the wrong way. So anyway, hello um, to those of you that are able to join me live. Um, hello to Serena. Hi, Serena. Welcome. And Phil. Hello, um, Excited to be live with you all uh, tonight. So let me, again, just give this a minute here for all of you to find me, and then we will go ahead and get started here in just two minutes. Uh, so tonight's presentation is an actual, um, an online uh, class that I'm offering. I started offering a Facebook exclusive class about once every six weeks, and tonight is the night for our um, online class. So this is a class that you can purchase. I'll be posting the registration link um, in, the, in the description. I'll be posting it over the next couple of days. Uh, but this class is really, really fun. And I brought out the 80s. So um, when you see these cards, you're, you'll see what I mean. They are very 80s themed, um, which is, um, was, they were fun to make. So we had lots of fun designing them. So anyway, um, again, oh, but I don't have a pen. I don't think I'm going to be able to write with that. So um, thank you. All right. So anyway, uh, welcome, everyone. A few things I have in the way of some announcements before we go ahead and get started. Hi, Janet and um, Shelby and Courtney. Um, welcome um, to all of you. So announcements. Yesterday was Natalie's birthday. So last night we celebrated her 19th birthday. And so we uh, she chose Applebee's, which was fun. And so it was actually just a mom and mom, dad and Natalie night. Um, Claire was at dance, um, but we did celebrate her 19th birthday. I don't know how 19 years happens so fast, but it did. And then um, this uh, this weekend is our homecoming weekend for Claire. So tomorrow is our pep rally and our parade. And so I'll be going to the pep rally to watch her um, dance with the dance team. And then she'll be in the parade. And then we'll have her the dance on um, on Saturday. So I'll be posting pictures of those for you all to see. Um, she is going with her boyfriend, Jason. Um, and yeah, he's over six foot and my little Claire is four seven. So they make a cute little pair. Um, but anyway, uh, she has a beautiful blue dress and I cannot wait, like I said, to share pictures, um, uh, with it for all of you to be able to see. So exciting weekend for us. Um, I also have my class over, um, in the thumb over in Bad X, uh, in the morning on Saturday before we do our, um, our homecoming festivities that, um, that afternoon. So anyway, exciting, fun weekend, but looking forward to it. Hope you guys are all enjoying the, the cooler fall weather that we're starting to get here in Michigan anyway. And, uh, um, it's kind of uh, been a refreshing, uh, crisp evenings and mornings versus some of the hot weather we were having. So um, I'll make sure and tell her that, Beth. I'm sure she's going to have a blast. She's uh, had fun with her, their spirit week this week, and she's looking forward, I think, to getting dressed up. She is not my get dressed up kind of child, though. So this will be um, very rare that you see her dressed um, like this and getting her hair done and all that. That's more of a Natalie thing. Um, Claire's more of my just let me put on jeans and a T-shirt and go out the door ponytail kind of girl. Um, anyway, so that's what we have going on this weekend. So lots of fun things going on. Um, and then I'm gearing up to get ready for a couple of different events I have. Um, so one is my um, Grateful For You retreat, which is just kind of a my fall themed um, event that I'm doing where you bring your own projects to work on. It can be um, crap paper crafting, sewing, knitting, crocheting. I have the whole gamut there. But I basically provide the space for you to, to sit and have fun. I know I've got um, moms and daughter teams coming. I've got um, friends coming, people who just come by themselves to be able to sit and just have some time for themselves. And then I provide all of the meals and things like that. So um, that event is October 13th and 14th, and it's at the St. Henry Center, which is where I usually do my events. So if you would like more information on that, let me know. I'm also offering what I call my little retreat in a box where you can get the make and takes and all the goodies um, that I hand out sent to you. 
So that's always an option. And I'm doing a, an optional class, a Christmas card class. And then I'm also going to be having a couple other ones that I will have there for purchase as well that are optional classes too. So lots of fun. And then um, also gearing up for a team retreat. So every year I do a retreat just for my team. And it's a really fun event. And I've been busy putting lots of fun touches on that. So um, been a, a fun uh, couple weeks just getting busy with all that great stuff. Okay, um, another announcement that I need to mention. So if any of you have ever thought about taking advantage of the starter kit promotion, there's going to be no better time than October 3rd through the 31st. So to commemorate Stampin' Up's 35th anniversary, um, they are offering the starter kit promotion in two different ways. You can either get 35% off the starter kit or get 35 35% additional with the starter kit. So basically what that means is you can get $125 of product and pay only $68.35, or you can get $168 of product and pay the $99 plus tax like you normally would. Great opportunity, I I'm telling you, even if you only buy adhesives from me, I know a lot of you that do that on a regular basis, you could get $125 of adhesive for $68. So it's a really good deal. Um, and so something I'll be reaching out to a lot of you on to just say, hey, this is like a no brainer um, deal here for you. Uh, take advantage of it. So that is going to be going on in October. And I kind of like the option that they have there and the whole 35% um, spin on it with the percentage off or percent additional. It's kind of a neat little thing. So I wanted to mention that. And then this is your last call for any of my September classes. They will be going out in the mail tomorrow, um, hopefully tomorrow, with the rest of them going out on um, Monday. But we um, will be getting those all packaged up and getting those uh, sent on their way, including my BB Monthly Club, and that tutorial is ready to go out, so you'll be getting that email to you as well. Now, my um, Monthly Club for the month of October, I'll be advertising that for any of you that might want to take advantage of that, because with that one, um, hi, Deb, yay, and hello to my sister, Bonnie, but with the one that we are doing, um, the one that we are doing um, for... Uh, October is basically the um, the Night Divine, the beautiful um, uh, holiday one that is um, themed with the nativity scene. So uh, I've already got the cards designed. I designed those a couple weeks ago. And so I'll be getting that one advertised as well. They're beautiful cards, ones that you're definitely going to want to get your hands on. So, um, and if those of you that are new to watching me, it's thirty-eight fifty for the um, a month for my what I call my BB monthly subscription. And you have, can can do it month by month. You can skip a month. You can you know however you want to do it. But when you complete six months, you get a free twenty-five dollar goodie bag in the mail for me of products and all that awesome stuff. So it's kind of like my own little paper pumpkin subscription, but one that I, I do myself and you have the option to add on the stamp set that I've used for that month so a neat little thing you get eight cards $20 product all that great stuff so anyway um, so just wanted to make you sure you guys all knew what one I was using for that um, the three classes that I have my last call out on are Halloween the translucent floral and the very cute so those are the classes from this month, my three, what I call my three regular classes. Um, so if you're interested in those, um, one change that I do want to let you guys know that I'll be implementing after the first of the year is my regular classes, instead of having three options, I'm going to be going down to just two options. And then if you really want that third option, um, my BB Monthly Club is going to be the way to go. So um, instead of having four regular classes that I have to design and cut for, I'm taking it down to three. Okay? So I just want to make sure you guys are aware of that change happening after the first of the year. All right, let's do some sharing, you guys. So I've got some, um, if you shared last week, you got entered into the drawing to receive some awesome goodies and prizes. And I picked my two winners. Hello, Carol. Hello, Cindy. And Nancy, welcome. These were the two prizes that were up for grabs last week. And the winner is, drum roll, all right, so the winner of the, these are the Ombre Matte Decorative Dots. And the winner of these is Carol Koroleski. So Carol, I know you are watching. Congratulations, my dear. And then the winner of the Iridescent Pearls is Luann Lesner. So congratulations to Luann and to Carol. I'm not sure if um, 
Um, Luann is on here yet, but she usually does come on or she watches the replay. If not, I'm sure Shelby will let her know. Um, all right. Um, and then the um, what I have up for grabs this week are the adhesive backed sequin trios. And then a bolt of the Lost Lagoon ribbon. Okay, you're welcome, Carol. So those are what I'll be drawing for next week for um, my prizes. Um, and these other prizes will be going out um, in the next couple days here as well. Okay, so what you're going to be seeing tonight, I chose to use the Curvy Occasions stamp set and um, coordinating punch in our annual catalog. Um, the When I first saw it, I was like, yeah, I like it, but I don't need it. Um, but the more I got looking at it and seeing it, the more it reminded me of my childhood. We used to go roller skating. Um, there was just the disco ball. It reminded me of the 80s and the big hair bands that I was into. Um, and so I had to design a class with it. And so I chose to use this one for my um, Facebook online exclusive class. So you'll remember a, a couple months ago I did the Everyday Thanks cards. Well, this class right here is not a class that I'm offering any way else um, or any other way, I should say. It's not a class I'm offering in the basement. It's not a class that I'm offering online where it's open for a month. This one's a Facebook exclusive and you have until about a week to place or to, to submit that you want the class. Um, I have a couple different price points and I'll explain it to you as I transition the camera down here. Um, but these cards are adorable and I had so much fun designing them and even Natalie said mom I love these cards I cannot um, get enough of how cute these cards are so with that I'm going to transition my camera down and let's go ahead and get started and I'll showcase these awesome cards for you okay all right so let me transition my camera down here to my little area you're gonna get a little sneak peek of some of them. You're not gonna to get to see everything though. Aren't they cute? I know, and now you're not gonna see any of them. I'm taking them all away. All right, so anyway, but you guys got a little sneak peek of it, right? Aren't they cute? Okay, so let me bring in the stamp set so you guys can see that for a minute. Might be a little bit of a glare, but I do need to move my iPad over here so that I can see your guys' comments. So, my iPad works so much better for this than my um than my computer used to okay so this is the let me move this down a little sorry guys i gotta get situated okay and i'm that all right so this is the curved occasions stamp set and there is a um punch that coordinates with it and this punch is pretty amazing this punch um when you uh, punch it because it's got the curve you don't waste much paper because you're able to really get like right in there um next to the other one where you've previous punched and not have a whole lot of waste but this is the curved occasions can you see how and why it kind of resembles the the 80s i mean look at that that is just so cool isn't that neat so what i did is i designed um five cards so in your class if you were to purchase this class um, you would get um, all five cards, plus you'd get um, all the supplies to make two of each one, plus you would get um, your your choice of either receiving the stamp set. So the stamp set you need because you have to do your own stamping, or you have the option of adding the stamp set and the punch. Okay, so you have an option of uh, this separate or together. Included in the cost is a pack of the glossy dot, the glossy dots. And included in your package is a bolt of the um, black and white gingham ribbon, okay? So if you choose this right here, um, and you would also get all the supplies to make the five cards and envelopes and the cost of shipping, that cost is $54. If you want to add on the punch with the shipping, it would make the cost of this class $72, okay? So you have an option there. You don't have to um, add on the punch. Um, there's when you, if you were to register for this, the link will post um, right after my Facebook Live. Uh, and if you are interested in it, you have the option of picking which one that you want of the two classes, okay? Um, but everything would become cut and assembled and ready, or not assembled, cut and ready for you to prepare your cards and get them ready. Okay, so this is the card. We're going to start with this one. This is the sneak peek card that I actually shared for all of you to see when I um, uh, posted my advertisement for my Facebook Live. Look at that beautiful disco ball. Isn't that just awesome? Okay, so for this card, can you guys tell it's kind of 80s themes? That was my goal anyway. So let me bring out all my supplies here for this. So for this card, I used bubble bath. 
bubble bath cardstock for the card base. And so we are just going to fold this in half. And this is my card base. And then the embossing folder that I used is this cascading ruffled one. And it is from our annual catalog. So again, everything that um, you would need to have already embossed would already be embossed. I do all that work for you. Um, and so you wouldn't have to worry about that. Um, I know, right, Shireen? So this is the um, five and a quarter by four of the, this is Melon Mambo that I paired on top of that. We're just gonna add a piece of that um, ribbon across there. So let me bring in my ribbon. And this is, again, you get a whole bolt of this ribbon. And so you'd be able to have some left over for other cards and projects. And grab my adhesive. And I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the sides here for this to just kind of wrap around. And then this entire piece is going to get adhered down to my card. Now some of the coordinating dies that I used, or I shouldn't say coordinating, well I call them coordinating, but some of the um, the dies that I used for tonight's cards, I used Give It a Whirl, which includes the dies for the cute little um, stars. I included the Nestled Essentials, which you'll see me use a little bit later, and I also used the scalloping, the Scalloped Contours. Now the Scalloped Contours is what I used on this card right here. Um, so here I have a four and a quarter by three and a quarter inch piece of basic black. And then I cut out this awesome little um, shape using this, the scalloped contours. And I just stamped the, the disco ball on that. And we're just going to adhere this down um, at an angle on top of that four and a quarter by three and a quarter piece of black. And then this whole thing I adhere down to the card using some dimensionals. So we're just going to add dimensionals onto the four corners here. Yay, Janie, yes, you found me. Yay. All right, so we're just gonna add this onto my card. And then I took a little half of an inch piece of um, the uh, Melon Mambo, and all I did on this is I just cut this down and stamped the words Happy Dance on there. Um, and I'm going to put that here. I, this one I left a little bit longer, so I probably shouldn't have cut that, but I cut it anyway. So we're going to improvise. <laughs> I left that a little bit longer to put the star on there. Okay. And we're going to put this on here like that. And then these are some of the little stars. This is using the Dazzle Designer Series paper. It's the 6x6 six six paper that is in our annual catalog. Um, and we had something similar to this that was part of Celebration a while back. And so for that, I'm going to bring in some liquid glue. And I just kind of added, thank you, Philomena, this card, because like these were fun cards to do. And I'm going to actually adhere these down with some liquid glue just because um, it's a little bit of a thicker paper and I want to make sure that it sticks really, really good. So I'm just going to use some of our liquid glue here and adhere these down. And you can put as many or as little as you want, but this bedazzled paper was the perfect paper to use for this card. Um, and this, you'll see I used it on a couple more cards too. To me, it just really screamed. The, dark, the bright colors and the, the glitter just kind of screamed 80s for me. And then I was trying to go for a little bit of a, um, like a, a shadow look. Like, you know how when you have the, disc, the disco ball and it's moving around? So I was trying to get it to be different, um, different uh, colors. So for that, I chose to use, um, let me find them here. Got everything in one area. Um, there we go. I chose to use the um, bubble bath um, blends and I chose to use lemon lolly. And um, I also chose to use the, um, the melon mambo. I'm so sorry, Peggy, I'm glad you found me. I'm just getting started. So you are here right in good time. You just missed a few announcements, but 
Um, and I don't know why. I know some of you are saying you're getting hard. I'm getting harder to find because if you, what I was told is if you follow my page and you like my page, you should get notified. Now, if you also though click on your notifications in your group, there's a way that you can say that you want to either get notified of highlights or notified of all things. And I think you have to click all notifications and then you'd get notified every time I'm live. So, and it's kind of everyone's individual settings. So it's really hard to be able to um, to help you. But I, I, what I always tell everyone is if you have a grandson or a son or a daughter that can help you, ask them because that's the best way for um, you to get help with those different kinds of settings and things. So, um, but everyone's is a little bit different. Everyone's Facebook is different. It's just kind of crazy and I don't like that. All right, so I colored with the Lemon Lolly there and then I colored with my um, bubble bath. And I overlapped this a little bit, and I really did not color it to be too, too perfect. Um, you know, just kind of did different colors here. And then I used the light Melon Mambo, because the dark to me was just way too dark. And I'm going to color this in like that. And then I did make this look like it's a little bit bigger of a hanger there. And voila! We have our first card done. Isn't that awesome? So again, if you were to purchase the class, um, you would have all of the supplies, like all these little stars would already be cut out and all the pieces would be cut. You would just have to do your own stamping, but that stamp set's included. The only color of ink that I use on all of these cards is that memento black. So it would make it very, very easy for you to be able to, um, to duplicate these cards um, in your own way. All right, so that is card number one. All right, card number two is this one. Now this one could also be used as a um, as a get well or even a um, you know a retirement card. You could use this one for anything. So and again, if you're looking at the stamp set, um, I used the only one I didn't use was this birthday cake, and I didn't even think about it, but I ended up using the roller skates twice because I just couldn't couldn't resist I couldn't resist I liked those roller skates um but this one right here I did as a birthday card and I again used the bubble bath I tried to stick with some of the similar um patterns for all of these are the same color schemes um so this one though I did go with a little bit of a softer look and I incorporated in some balmy blue this is where I used those nestled um, essentials dies that um, I showed you earlier and the essential nested essential dies I'm, I'm going to actually show you those and open them up here because these dies I feel are a staple um, you get so many different patterns here you get um, these like little um, diamond shapes you get the banners you get these ones right here I mean you get quite a few different shapes inside of those nestled dies and and I like them when you just want something different than always using circles or things like that. I also like that they have the little edgelet around it where you it looks like it's stitched. The little um, dotted lines gives it a little bit more texture and stuff as well. Okay, so for this one, I have a balmy blue piece of five and a quarter by four, followed by a basic white piece of five by three and three fourths. This is also embossed with that cascaded ruffles embossing folder. And those two are just gonna get adhered together. <laughs> and then I added in some of that awesome black and white ribbon. And I think that black and white ribbon just kind of pops it. So I added that black and white ribbon up here near the top. So <clears throat> I'm just going to cut that here. And again, we're going to add a little bit of adhesive to the sides. And that's going to go around here like that. And then, <coughs> tickle on my throat. Okay, this is gonna go down here like that. All right, so then I cut out a piece of, I am gonna take a little drink here, guys, bear with me. Just a little tickle. Okay, there we go. So then I have these two, these are part of the nestled essentials. I cut out two layering pieces, one with bubble bath, one with whisper white or basic white. And I'm going to adhere those two together. We did do a little bit of coloring on this. 
So um, I'm not going to um, take the time to do all of the coloring, but well, maybe I will a little bit. I will at least tell you the colors that I used on this one. I used the Balmy Blue. I used um, Bubble Bath, Granny Apple Green, and a Highland Heather for the purple. So uh, I just added a little bit of that lavender color to the sides or to the parts of the, of the um, flower bouquet. And of course we had to add some of those awesome sparkles because you know, I like the sparkles. And lots of die cutting with those, with those little stars. Okay, let me put this underneath here. So I don't know if any of you have noticed, can you guys see the Woody on my watch? Now it's gonna be a different, different one. Um, Apple decided to update their watch app. <laughs> and I don't know how, but somehow mine defaulted to Toy Story animation. And so I need to ask one of my children to help me fix it, unless I decide to keep it. But every time I move my watch, I get a different one. So there is, oh, who was that girl? She was the, um, oh, I forget her name. But every time I do move my watch up, I get a different one. So anyway, if you're noticing that, I had to at least let you know that, like, I don't normally have Toy Story on my watch. But everything of mine updated. My operating system on my phone is different. Every, and it's a big change. So if you have an iPhone and when it updates on you from 16 point something to the 17 version, be prepared for it to look a little different because that's what happened to me last night. Jesse, there it is. Yes. So anyway, that's what I keep getting. So anyway, I just had to mention it because I happened to notice it was on the camera. And I'm sure at least one of you probably noticed it, had to have noticed that I had Jesse in there. All right. So I'm just going to do a little bit of coloring here. Again, I use the um, Balmy Blue. And I'm not going to do it all because it'll take way too long as I'm starting to do that. But I'm bringing in my sample. Again, you can see the colors that I chose to use. Now, this would also this class would also include a tutorial, so you would have all of the instructions for you to be able to um, know what colors I used and all that kind of stuff. If you don't have all of the blends, I always tell everybody, you can color it any color that you would like to. It doesn't necessarily have to be the colors that I use, okay? And like this right here, this was so neat because with this called the Curved Occasions, uh, the stamp that says happy birthday is curved and matches that punch perfectly. So it's really quite cool. Okay, so now I'm going to add my stars to this. And I am going to just add a little bit of glue here. This might be the easier way to do it. Adding a little bit of glue. That one I got way too much glue on. Adding a little bit of glue on there and then just bringing in my stars and plopping them on here. One, two and the little itty bitty. Now, if you're wondering where these stars are coming from, I just realized that I never showcased you that and told you where they're from. Those are from the Give It a Whirl, the Give It a Whirl dies. And inside the Give It a Whirl dies, you have, um, you're gonna see me use these um, clouds here in just a minute. You have the hearts, you're gonna see me use the hearts in just a minute. And you also have these two star dies. And the neat thing is you can get double the stars with those two dies. So. That is kind of what is so, so, so cool. Um, anyway, so Peggy, to answer your question on the embossing folder. So um, if you have a Stampin' Emboss die cut machine, um, yes, this is a thicker embossing folder. So the only thing you would use is you would use our main platform, and then you would put this on there with the cardstock in between it. And then you would put the thicker um, gray one on top and run it through. You do not need to use the two cutting plates. So it's just our main platform, not the little mini white one on top, just the platform, this, and then the bigger, thicker gray one, and it should run through perfectly for you. Okay, so there is card number two, all right? Um, then, like I could say I didn't color all that because we'd be here forever if I colored all that. All right, <coughs> let's see what I have next. Oh, the next one I think is my favorite. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, here we go. You guys ready for this one? This is my favorite. Check out this adorable card. Now, this is just using that punch. 
This is also that bedazzle paper. So that bedazzle paper comes six by six. I think you get three pieces of this darker or this actual gold color and three of this champagne color. Okay, so you get two different colors of that um, in there. And if you're wondering what I used for these pieces, this is the Granny Apple Green Melon Mambo Foil, part of the Merry and Bright um, bundle for Christmas. Again, all these pieces would be already cut for you though if you were to purchase the class to go. Um, all of that would be cut um, in advance for you so you wouldn't have to um, <clears throat> do any of, any of that or purchase any of those supplies. All right, so for this one, let me bring my supplies out. Isn't that adorable? Can you guys see why I was reliving my childhood with these um, these cards and the, the cute little retro 80s looking? <coughs> it's adorable, Beth, isn't it? Okay. And you'll see why I had to duplicate another one with the skates because it's just so cool. All right, before I bring in the card base, I'm going to start with, because the card base sometimes just gets in my way. So I'm going to start with these two right here, and I'm just going to adhere these together. Again, I use that again that same embossing folder, um, stuck with the same one for all of these projects. Whoops, there's a little star. Can't be losing my stars. And I'm going to, whoops, got to be more careful because it likes to rip it when I have the I'm being too fast. All right, there we go. I'm just going to adhere these two together. And then we're going to build up this piece right here okay so for that you're gonna have two of each of the different colors so I have two of the <clears throat> melon mambo two of the granny apple green I like roller skating but could never get get it figured out I, I just kept falling <laughs> all right and then two of the gold so we're gonna start with the green here first we're gonna add some adhesive to that <clears throat> and this is just going to go on here all the way to the edge. Oh, I'm going to start up here a little bit. And it's going to go on there like that. Next up is going to be, I'm going to actually use my Tombow glue for this. And you'll see how quick and simple this goes together. So a neat little way of using this punch. So we're going to do this gold one next. Same way. Line it right underneath that. And then the last but not least is going to be the... Melon Mambo piece, and that will go underneath here, and they're all going to line up pretty closely together. Ta da! Okay, then we're going to do the opposite side like this. So there is going to be a gap, but no one's going to see it because that tag is going to cover it up. So it makes it look like it's a ripple, but it's not all the way through. What do you guys think of that? Helps to grab the right adhesive. Did you guys, anybody see that? I grabbed the, I grabbed the wrong adhesive. And on this one, I just kind of eyeballed it as close as I could to make it, make it kind of match. No one's going to really know if it doesn't match completely. And so that's going to go on there. And then I have the glittered piece. And this one's going to go, whoops, not on my finger underneath here like this and then last but not least is going to be the yeah isn't that cool i'm glad you guys like that idea so this is going to be the last one okay so i might be a little off but close enough close enough right all right and then I cut a tag using those nestled and best nested essentials dies and this is just going to go over top of here using some dimensionals. I'm going to stamp the happy dance on there, though. I just realized that I didn't stamp that. So let me find my happy dance. Actually, this one's going to say you're great because that's what I have out. So it's going to say you're great. It's going to stamp that on the bottom down there. You're great. And then... This will go on here with some dimensionals, okay? So dimensionals on here like that. This cute, I know, so cute, right? Oh yeah, it sure does, Courtney. I love it. All right, so this is just gonna go on here like that. 
And then what I did is I, and we do not have dies for these. So these unfortunately do have to be fussy cut. Um, but I did do a little bit of coloring. So I colored with melon, one strip with melon mambo um, to kind of bring in the melon mambo on that. So this is going to be cut with the melon, or colored with the melon mambo for that one on the top. So cool. And then I used um, Highland Heather. I may have used Fresh Freesia, but we're gonna go with the Highland Heather because it's what I've grabbed out. It'll all look the same and match perfect. I did use Gorgeous Grape for the card base, but we don't have any Gorgeous Grape blends. Um, the Highland Heather worked just as nice. And then finally, the Bubble Bath. And I'm using the dark one on this. I think I used the light one on the other one. Okie dokie. And then I did also use the gray for my um, my roller skate bottom part, but I don't have that here. So I'm gonna just use do the do it in green. We're gonna do it in green here. So I'm gonna color this in green. This is the granny apple green. And then I'm going to do the centers. And do do do. Oh, I forgot about the little stopper to get you to stop. And then, yes, I did have to fussy cut these. So I'm not going to actually take the time to do that. But I did fussy cut these. They aren't too hard to do, believe it or not. And then I added them on with a dimensional to the card here. Okay, so I just cut these out, added them on. Let me actually glue this down to my card base. My card base is the um, Gorgeous Grape, which I think is what really makes this all pop. Watch this. Look at that. Look at that pop. That's so amazing. I love it. So that's going to just kind of pop that out, make it look very neon, very 80s themed. Okay, and then we would add these up here, and then we're going to add a little bow to the very top up there using that black ribbon. I know, isn't that cute? Love it. Thank you, Janet. It is cute. Very cute. So again, I had to kind of incorporate this one in, and somehow, because I loved it. The more I kept, you know how you ever gravitate back to something, you're like, I don't know if I'd want to do a class on that because, oh, I don't know. But I kept looking at it going, okay, Kim, you just need to figure out something to do with that bundle because it just kept calling my name. So anyway, and this is what I decided to do with it was to showcase it for a Facebook exclusive class. So I'm just going to add a little bow up there like that. And then I'll cut these out later and get those um, put on to my card as well. But there you have the third little card in this class. Isn't that great? I know, it's so cute. All right, my next card that I'm gonna show you is one using the little, um, the little uh, car from it. Okay, you gotta have a pink car. Look at it, you need to have a pink car. I love it. Um, love, love, love the little pink car. Okay. So for this one, oh, and I know what I didn't do on this card. I also embellished it with these stars. So looking back at it, again, you gotta have stars. So I did put um, stars up here. I'm wondering why all these stars are uh, dancing around on me here because I didn't incorporate them into this card. But you can see here, I added some stars to it as well. So I'll make sure and add those on to the card too. Oh, thank you, Peggy. Glad you like these. All right, so I'll finish that one off later because otherwise we'd be here way past eight o'clock. All right, so this is the next card I wanna showcase for you. Now this one you can use for graduation, you could use it for a wedding, um, you could use it for just about anything that you wanted to use this card for. Here's the card where I mentioned I incorporated in from those get, Give It A Whirl dies, some clouds, some of the um, little um, uh, hearts, some of the little stars. Oh, thank you, Philomena. And can you guys see why I loved, I was so excited for tonight's Facebook Live. I mean, I, I like a lot of my projects that I do, but I loved these. And so uh, these had me even more excited to create for all of you because um, I just, I loved the 
colors. I loved everything about it. So um, those of you that purchased this class, you're going to have a ball with it. And like I said, everything, would, all these stars and hearts are cut for you. Every single one of them. All right, so for this one, we use the balmy blue for the card base. And then I have a layer of the granny apple green and a layer of the basic white. Um, on the basic white, I did stamp in advance the little car, okay? And um, we're just going to adhere that, that together here real quick right now. And then I incorporated in the grass and the sky. So let me... The grass is basically just um, a little three-quarter inch strip of the um, of the Granny Apple Green cardstock, and I've been doing this a lot lately. My little fringe has come back in style for me. Um, if you have the fringe scissors, this would take you literally two seconds. I know that we have a die that does this similarly, but I really like to just do it myself. So I can make it a little bit wider. I can make the grass look a little bit more realistic and it just only takes me a little bit of time. As long as you don't cut all the way through it, which Ben there have done that before. But you can see I'm making them all different lengths. So it makes it kind of look like it's a little bit more realistic for grass. So that is one of the things that I like about just doing it my myself. All right, and then make sure you have enough Enough going across. Nope, we need to cut a little bit more. I was in a hurry when I cut these cards for tonight, so I didn't actually make sure I had it the perfect length, but you're going to see what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive all the way along the very bottom of this. And then this is going to get adhered down right on top of that white all the way across. And I'm just going to um, kind of fold it where I want to cut it and cut the excess right off there. So, to do, there we go, perfect. And then if you want to, you can even fluff it a little bit and make it look like it's some real grass. I like to do that too, that's kind of a good stress reliever right there. So I'm just picking up some of those and kind of fluffing them. Okay, then you kind of just put them back down and but it gives it more of a little bit of a realistic look. Okay, and then I have the um, the blue sky and I did the exact same thing with that one. So this is going to get adhered across the top and then um, and if you wanted to, I could have cut that just at, um, I could have just cut that at um, three and three fourths, but I just cut a strip and did the whole embossing all at once. So I'm just gonna kind of improvise and do it that way as well. It's only a little bit too long. So let me just cut this off. I don't want to cut it off too, too short. Do, do. I'm almost there, guys. I just can't do it um, really. I have to be kind of close to myself. All right, good enough. So we're just going to adhere that down there. Actually, I'm going to lift this up and get it cut perfect because otherwise it's going to drive me crazy. All right, there we go. Ta-da! Okay, now we're better. And now we can go ahead and adhere this one down to the card as well. And then from there, we're just going to do some embellishing and all that fun stuff. So I'm a pinky person, right? We have to have a pink car. Who's with me? Whoop, 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 pink, pink. All right, so I used the light... Um, the light bubble bath for my car. And I'm just going to color this in. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I did also use the black blend for the wheels. And I didn't pull the black, so I'll have to color that piece later. I didn't pull the black out of my blends container. Or blend, blends packaging, I should say. All right, so I'm just gonna color this all in. So I colored it in light, and then I did use the dark to kind of go around the fender wheels here. So like that, and like that, and voila. Cute so far, I know, right? 
Okay, then we have clouds. We gotta have clouds in the sky, right? A beautiful sunny day going for a cruise. All right, so we're gonna add a couple of clouds to the sky. So we're gonna just add one right here. And then I'm going to add the other one. The, there's actually three cloud dies. I had cut all three of them, but it just didn't work to use all of them on the card. So I just used the two smaller ones. And then I cut one of the bigger hearts using um, the uh, Melon Mambo. And that's going to go on with a dimensional. So I'm just going to put that on here like this. Ta da! And then I stamped the word congratulations on a little strip of Granny Apple Green, again using that black. And I'm just going to cut this down really, really small and put it right across that heart. So this I just literally cut by hand and I just am going to cut it down even smaller um, around there. Congratulations. And then I just put a little bit of adhesive on the back of this. And I just need a little bit down the middle. And congratulations. Oh, I need to make it a little bit, a little bit better on this end. Got a little bit too fast. There we go. And we're going to adhere that down to the center there. Doo -doo. And then you can decorate the little behind the car however you would like. So I have another. Let me get all my stars and my things out of here. Do do. So all of your supplies will come in those bags. So they don't get lost. As you can tell, there are lots and lots of little um, decals and thingies. I did put the other smaller heart on with a dimensional as well. And then I'm going to include the little stars behind here. So this one's going to have two of the um, Melon Mambo and one of the little green so i'm just going to add some little spots of glue here maybe there we go there we go and we're just going to add those in there so that one will go there one will go here and one will go here take your pick tool would work great but so do fingernails all right and there you go. Isn't that adorable? So again, I would make the, the tires, you know, the black, the black on there. But you can again color your car any color that you want. But I needed to have a pink car because again, these cards reminded me of uh, me growing up, and I thought they were just really, really cute. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Are you ready for the last card? The last card might also be one of my favorites. I love the ones with the skateboards um, the best. And I think it's just because, I don't know, they just, again, remind me um, so much of the fabulous 80s that um, I had to use the, the skates a second time. All right, here is our last card for tonight. Isn't it adorable? Okay, so for this one, I used strips of different colors that I would, this was the last card that I actually created when I was creating the class. And so I wanted to keep with the color scheme and that's kind of how I chose my card or my colors for, um, th thank you, Carol. That's how I chose my colors for the little strips. And I wanted to add some texture to them without embossing them. So what I did is I actually stamped the skate. These little strips are one and a quarter by four inch strips. And what I did is I just stamped the um, the skates on top of them. So yeah, so this you would need to use the other other colors of ink if you had them. Um, but if you didn't have it, you could also just stamp them in black and it would be fine. But so this is Melon Mambo. So I used Melon Mambo ink, Granny Apple Green. I used Granny Apple Green ink bubble bath bubble bath ink and the final one is the gorgeous grape and I use the gorgeous grape ink and I just stamped the little skates on top of those strips to kind of make it look like it was my own designer series paper okay so you would get all these strips in your kit if you were to purchase this class um, but you would then just need to stamp them all on your own okay um, the other thing you're going to notice on this card is that I did incorporate in these gems now I did not incorporate the gems in the other cards only because I wanted to be able to let you guys kind of design and, and add these to the cards as you see fit. But these could be added to the center of the, of the stars, to the center of the hearts. You could add them, add them to enhance it. But these are the 
bright colors as well that will go great with those cards, all right? You can see here that I did place three of them on, on this one. Okay, so these little strips here are one and a quarter by um, four inch strips. And you're gonna start with the top and the bottom one so that you can place the other two perfectly in, um, in the middle of those. So the top one I used uh, Melon Mambo, the bottom one I used the Gorgeous Grape. These can go on in any order that you want them to. They do not have to go on in the order that Kim did them. They can be any way you would like them to be, okay? Um, and then, and again, you could duplicate this card because you'll get the tutorial. So you could duplicate this card and change out these colors to be any other color that you would like them to be. And you can see I messed up there and had to do it over again. So I just used the back. All right, so there we have all of the different strips on there. Okay, and then I cut out a shape using those nestled um, essentials dies. So again, the shape would come. You wouldn't have to buy the dies unless you really wanted to purchase the dies. Um, you may want to eventually add them to your collection because I find myself using them quite often for the tags and even those diamond ones too. It's pretty, pretty cool. Thank you, Philomena. Um, so this one I'm just going to add on here like that. Then I did the exact same thing. I colored these um, uh, skates uh, using three of the colors that are incorporated into the card. So I used um, Highland Heather, since we don't have gorgeous grape blends. I used Bubble Bath, Granny Apple Green. I used some of the gray and um, cut these out then I fussy cut those. Uh, I then used um, the Your Great and I have a quarter inch strip of um, cardstock here. And so this is just going to get put down to the bottom of here with some dimensionals. So let me do that. Aren't these adorable cards, you guys? I know, totally different, right? Totally different, but how cute would these be to give to, you know, your granddaughters, you know, neighbors, friends, whatever, just for something um, we can all kind of relate, I think, um, to this to this era a little bit. Um, and again, you'd have the, the skates there and then the little bow. So what do you guys think? Have I convinced any of you that you have to have this one? It's so cute. Okay, so these, let me bring the cards back in. So this is again how the class is gonna work. This is what I'm calling my online Facebook exclusive class. So it is a class that you can only purchase in conjunction with my Facebook Live. It will be open for about a week. Um, and the link, the registration link is ready. It will post after my Facebook Live is completed. You will get all of the supplies to make all um, five of these cards. You'll get two of each one. You'll also get a whole bolt of this amazing ribbon. This is the black and white gingham ribbon. And you'll get a whole package of the glossy um, dots. And then you'll have your choice of adding on just the stamp set or adding on the stamp set and that coordinating punch, okay? The prices that you'll see posted out there include the shipping. So, and as you guys know, shipping can be quite costly. So I've really um, discounted the product a little bit for you to be able to make this class affordable. Um, and yeah, so registration for this will be opening up here in the next little bit. So I hope that you've all enjoyed um, this week's um, Facebook Live. These were really fun cards to create for you. Um, and you are all so very, very welcome. And I look forward to having you back next week. Um, next week, I believe I will be showcasing um, some Christmas projects using the um, Night Divine bundle. And that will actually also be my Facebook or my club um, cards for next month. So, all right. Thank you all so very much for joining me um, tonight. I hope you've enjoyed this. And those of you that purchased this class, I cannot wait for you to get it in your hands. Um, it will be a quick turn around registration closes and I will then be ordering all the product and you'll be able to get this class um, fairly quickly all right thanks everyone um, have a great evening great weekend I know we have lots on the docket with our um, orient our orientation our um, homecoming and everything else we have going on so I uh, look forward to all of the fun things all right see you everyone and have a great evening